Now, most of us these days are more than familiar with the sort of touchscreen technology you find on mobile phones and tablet devices. But some of you mightn't be aware that that same sort of technology has moved over to depth sounders. Now, we've got here the uh, current model HDS Generation 2 8 uh, sounder, which features the push button uh, controls. It's my mate Steve Gill, who's a well-known tournament angler, has been using this sounder for all his tournament work in the last little while. So he's pretty familiar with how this unit works. But what we're going to do is a bit of an experiment is actually swap this unit over with the latest HDS touchscreen model, which features, you know, instead of buttons, you actually press icons on the screen. And what we want to do is see how Stephen finds uh, the touch uh, function as opposed to pushing the buttons and just see, you know, if it's going to be giving him better results for his fishing um, when he's out there competing with the rest of the Brim tournament guys. So we'll just give you a basic rundown on how the, the push button version works, then we'll swap over to the touch and uh, we'll uh, see how it all interrelates. No worries, Jim. Now look, at with these, uh, once you step up from the seven inch to the eight, which I've recently done, you get these hot keys, so to speak, down here, which has, you can split your screen, whatever you want to do there. Different, so that's a different depth contour. I want to go back to no splits. Now you've got frequency, you can change that to 50 kilohertz. Everything's just at the touch of a button down here. Auto range, color line, your sensitivity, which is, which is a really important one. All you do is press the button there. You don't have to look through any menus, really simple. I find this a great advantage over the seven inch, which I owned for a few years. Now, pages, you can click, have, have your chart. This is what I quite often do, have a sonar and a chart on the one screen if I'm traveling. That way I've still got the depth. I know if I'm coming up into shallow water, but I've also got a map of the waterway I'm on. Other than that, you've got your structure scan, which all of these, you have to use, go onto a pages menu. Pages, just click across. There's no biggie to any of this. It's all very simple. Radar, info, all your engine levels, fuel, all that sort of thing. Not up because it's not running. So look, that's a pretty that's pretty much the sound that most people have been used to using over the years. It's got everything you need on there. Not very difficult. Pretty self-explanatory, really. I mean, you work it out in no time once you get used to using it. So, I, guess, I guess one of the things we're interested in looking at here with this experiment, because we've never you've never used the touch. I've before, never used that. No. And um, I guess it'll be interesting just to see how intuitive it is, whether you can actually really pick it up quickly. Yeah, because that's right. it's actually icons and things yep. rather than buttons. Yeah, that's right. I mean, look. We're not even going to look at the menu when we, we plug this little baby in, so we'll just see it. That's right, that will be a test to see how yeah, easy it is. Yeah. So, well, yeah. it, 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 it's something I think that you know people now are, are used to sort of pressing icons on screens Absolutely, for, for yeah. all the sort of mobile devices that we use. So yep. it will be quite interesting to see your reaction when you're going from you know uh, a lifetime of using a, a, a push button type of one to, yep. to this latest new technology. Yeah, sure. So let's get this guy off and stick this fella on and see how we go. No worries, we'll do. Rightio guys, we've, we've plugged this HDS9 in, in lieu of the HDS8. As you can see, pretty similar unit. The only thing is this screen is, because a lot of this actual area of the sounder is taken up by buttons, you don't have that in this case. So when we click on sonar, we've got a very a wider screen there, not quite as high. But one of the main features I've just worked out in the few seconds I've had to play with it is, if you click on sensitivity, you can just drag it down, just like a touch screen, which is a pretty good feature, I think. One that I've only I've obviously just worked out. And hey, we... do, do you sort of find that to be quite a natural thing to do? I mean, it seems yeah, pretty... I, yeah, I do, because just you used to, as you said before, there's a lot of a lot of devices these days are touch screens. So, you know, you sort of look at it and go, oh, you just, you, you go to do that on devices that aren't even capable of doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's other things here like the chart, which you don't actually zoom by what a lot of people will be used to doing, just scratching your fingers along like that, like with an iPad, or, for example. So the way you do zoom is just a plus or minus here. Yeah, but one, one thing we just worked out that's pretty cool is that you can just sort of, you can just move your cursor around with your finger, which is a lot quicker than having to do with this item, with this, even though it's not working, you would have to you press enter and then just slowly move this around, which doesn't respond obviously quite as well as what your finger would. Just go back to a sonar page, mate. Yeah, but just one thing here before we do go, and if yeah. I want to press a, a new waypoint there, new waypoint, 
That's pretty quick so, and easy, isn't it? That is really quick and easy, yeah. So, I mean, you know, we've only been looking at this unit for a minute, and yeah. those sort of features are obviously a good thing. Now, clear cursor, we're back to where we were. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, you said go back to the sounder. So, can you move, like, just say if you wanted to look at something? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Right, so just say if you saw a fish here. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, could, to go back in history. You could just mark that there. You just move back. Yeah, that's pretty neat, isn't it? You can just move back through your history like that by touching it. That's, that's really cool. And up through the water column. So you, you definitely save time compared to the, the HDS-8, wouldn't yeah. you, when you, when you when you'd actually have to use this thing? Yeah, that's it? right. Yeah, you, you would be pressing on that. But this, yeah, it is great like that. You can sc scroll back. Look, that's a, that's how long we've had the unit on. We're yeah. back to the complete history there. So, yeah. so Matt, in a fishing situation, when, when you're trying to mark fish or, or, or waypoint a, a structure or something like that, yep. do you feel the fact that you can sort of just move around with your finger would give you more of an ad advantage as opposed to you know, yeah, for sure. Look, I, I like that feature straight away. I mean, look, we're only just both learning how to use this right now. So, look, I'm sure that'd be a real advantage once you actually got to know the unit too. You'd be, it'd be just like getting used to your new mobile phone. Yeah, you yeah. just So there's that sort of intuitive, it just seems to be natural that you can yeah, it does. touch it. Yep, yep. I are mean, you, look, I'm only... Are you quite at, surprised that it sort of feels so natural? Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to just drag along the your history like that. Mm. Well, no, that's a touch screen, but yeah, it's... it's it is quite good. Well guys, I hope you can understand from this brief comparison that we've done between you know, the latest and greatest touchscreen technology and uh, the traditional sort of push button technology. Um, I think that what we've found, Gilly, is that you know, this stuff's pretty intuitive. I mean, yeah, it's easy to use. Yeah. People who've grown up using iPads and iPhones, it just seems to come natural. Yeah, it does. Yeah, well, we just did it. <laughs> we're, not, we're not rocket scientists, and I hope we're not no, nerds. Unfortunately not. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, that, look, I'd, I'd happily use one of them tomorrow, yeah. No oh. doubt I probably will. Look, everything's going that way. I'm probably going to end up with that. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it certainly does seem to things that are going that way. Yeah. And I guess it's just opening up uh, new opportunities for people to sort of interact with the technology a bit better. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, well, touchscreen is here. Um, check it out. See what you think. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it.